But one of the other things the judge mentioned is that they still don't have a full account of what had happened uh, to Sarah. Of course, the only person who could give that information is Wayne Cousins. Had he done that, would it, would it have made any difference? Is there anything they could have done or presented in court which would have meant uh, that wouldn't have been the eventual outcome? No, because he got the maximum anyway. So um, you don't need to know even more prurient details because the details they knew were the, were pretty, pretty bad. And the judge also did recognise in his sentencing comments, which are online, um, and I read them last night, um, the, the other thing that the judge mentioned was the sexual nature of the attack and the circumstance of the, of the arrest. I mean, both of which will have horrified women. It is worth noting that the Metropolitan Police have issued a statement, and I have never ever seen them do this before, and they issue a statement on the circumstances of Wayne Cousin and his career, the vetting that he went to, and also, rather interestingly, at the final paragraph, almost a work of fiction of what women are meant to do now in the event that a lone police officer tries to arrest them. And it is a work of complete and utter fantasy because the Met Police are now suggesting that if a woman is arrested by a police officer without reasonable excuse, she, she could run into a local house, flag down a bus, shout for a passerby. Now, now that's just a ludicrous suggestion, largely because in a case where a police officer is genuinely arresting somebody, those will be charged as attempts to resist arrest. But it doesn't go to the core issue of how the police could allow a man like this on the streets, given, and I really, really stress this, that red flags were going up about Wayne Cousins all over the place. He was known as the rapist. He was known to have been um, posting and texting highly inappropriate messages on his WhatsApp. He was known to be very, very favorable to violent porn. And in the context of 16 women dying at the hands of police officers in the last 13 years, the trust in the police is at an all time low. And I think that the Met Police is now facing its Me Too mo moment because the, the woodwork, woodwork is going to start crawling now with stories of people who have complained about police officers or were too afraid to complain about police officers who have then gone on to commit offences against women. This is a really, really big moment for the police.